Chicago White Sox baseball brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I we are going to be doing another series in our 2020 White Sox season. Um, and this series will be against the Twins. And uh, in a moment, I will show everyone. Um, well, actually, I can do that right now. Um, I will show everyone where we are right now. Um, let's see here, league stats. So here are the standings currently um, in most of the league and definitely the entire American League. And as you can see, we are only a half game behind the Twins. We have a record of 34 and 20. The Twins are 36 and 21. And we are six and a half games ahead of Cleveland. And so it's really a two horse race in the Central Division. As you can see up here in the East, the Yankees are two and a half games ahead of Boston, who are way ahead of Tampa Bay, Baltimore, and Toronto. And in the West, Houston, no surprise, is winning the West with Oakland four and a half games behind them and the Angels five and a half behind. Um, and then if we look at the National League, just to look at the National League, you got Washington leading the East and three and a half game, or three games ahead of the Mets. You got Cincinnati leading the Central, six games ahead of St. Louis. And you have the um, Dodgers leading the West, five and a half games ahead of Colorado, which a lot of that isn't surprising. Um, I think it's a little surprising that we're only a half game behind the Twins. We're really keeping good pace with the Twins. So I don't know if they're suffering injuries a lot or what the deal is with them. Um, but nevertheless, we are keeping pace with them. So this is what is going to happen um, today. We're playing May 17th, 18th, and 19th against the Twins. And uh, what I'm going to do is I will be editing the video so that I'm only showing the highlights, basically. I'm going to play out the entire games and manage the entire game um, and even provide commentary the entire way through just in case there are scores in certain innings. But in an attempt to increase the interest and watch time, I will be cutting down on the size of the video and we will only be showing innings where either where runs are scored or where um, you know, where something exciting happens, where there was a possibility that runs would be scored, but like, a, you know, one, two, three innings, you won't see those in the final video. So in an attempt, you know, to shorten the video, especially since there's three games. So that's how that's going to work. Um, so let's get started with the May 17th game against the Twins. And in this game, uh, let's see, the Twins would be controlled by the computer for one thing, and we will be human. And it's going to be Gio Gonzalez going up against um, Kenta Maeda. And, uh, yeah, the lineup, I guess I'm not going to make any changes to the lineup, so we'll go with that. So... You got Tim Anderson leading off, and he's going to lead off with a double. Nice. Double off Maeda. All right, you got Lewis Robert. Um, you know, I am inclined to say that I'm going to try to sacrifice with him. And it worked. And so now Moncada's up with Anderson 90 feet away and only one out. 
and he will get a fly ball, which should score the run. So that brings up Jimenez, and uh, let him swing away, and he is going to fly out. But we lead one nothing going in the bottom of the first. Kepler up against Gonzalez. That's going to be a ground ball. That brings up Polanco. And Polanco is going to fly out. So there's the two down quickly. And that brings up Josh Donaldson. And he will have a catcher's card X. Hopefully he makes the play. And he does. So we go to the top of the third and Tim Anderson, who is one for one with a double, is going to hit a single. He's two for two. Maeda just doesn't have his number. Not at all. You know what? I'm going to try to steal with him. Even at 50%, and no, he's gone. So that brings up Lewis Robert. I was trying to press my advantage there and uh, saw the game Press Your Luck last night, the new version. Pretty nice, and that's what I exactly did right there. So Moncada is up, and he hits a home run. Moncada. Could have been a two-run homer, though, if I had not been stupid and tried to steal Anderson and Jimenez I'm gonna let him hit away and he is going to be out but we did get a run in the third we lead two nothing Arias is up and Arias is gonna hit a ground ball that brings up Miguel Sano and Sano hits a triple are you kidding? Sano hits a triple. All right. Well, Byron Buxton is up, and he's going to double in the run. So not so good. Kepler is up, and uh, and he is going to hit a home run, probably. Unless we can rob it, and we have Mazzara out there, so I doubt it. And it is. So they have a two-run home run after scoring a run, so that gives them three and a 3-2 lead. And then a strikeout for Polanco, which brings it to two down in the inning, and Donaldson up. And Donaldson hits a ground ball to second. That's Garcia. And, he, and he's on. Yeah, I didn't think he would be safe. Cruz is up and Cruz is out. But the Twins get three runs to take a 3-2 lead right there. And Abreu is up and he's going to swing away. Hits the ball at the pitcher. See if he can uh, throw it away. He can't. Bazaar is up. He's going to swing away. He pops out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall pops out. That brings up Rosario in the bottom of the fourth inning. And he will hit the ball at Anderson. And he's out. Garver's up. And Garver flies out. So there's two down quickly for the Twins here in the fourth. And that brings up Arias. And Arias hits a single. Miguel Sano up. Let's hope he doesn't get a triple like he did last time. No, this time he gets a home run. Even worse. So now the Twins have a pretty good, pretty sizable lead. Five to two. And then Buxton's out.
Delmonico will lead off here, and he walks. So we lead off the top of the fifth with a walk. Delmonico with Garcia up, and he strikes out. Anderson, who is two for two, strikes out. That's two down. And that brings up Lewis Roberts. And Lewis Roberts strikes out, and we're out of the inning. We're out of the fifth. Kepler in the bottom of the fifth, leading off against uh, Gonzalez, and he hits the ball at first. And Abreu makes an error. So now Kepler is aboard. We are going to hold him. Yes, we're going to hold him. And that is a ground ball B. So now Polanco is aboard. That brings up Donaldson. Ground ball to Garcia. And that, there's an out on that play. But Polanco goes to second with Cruz up. And Cruz hits the ball to second. Garcia. And that's an out. We go to the top of the sixth, losing five to two. Moncada up. And he's going to ground out. Jimenez swings away. And he is going to hit a ground ball to second. And that's a Reyes. And he's out. And that brings up a prayer. And Abreu strikes out. Bottom of the sixth, Rosario is up at the plate. And he is going to be out with Mitch Garver up against Gonzalez, who walks. Arreyes is up, and he's going to fly out. I mean, really, Gonzalez has only had one... One really bad inning. That was the third where he gave up three runs. Otherwise, he's pitched relatively well up until he just gave Snow his second home run of the game. So, suffice it to say, it doesn't really look very good for us here. And then a pop out to Buxton gets them out of the inning, but they can score. And now we are one and a half games behind the Twins. Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Because we just lost to them. So we'll get out of that, and we will go right into game two. And game two will pit Keuchel against Odorizzi. And let me see, Delmonico at D8. Why is, um, huh, I don't have Encarnacion available to me, I suppose. Um, let's put Polka in at DH. Um, yeah. And let's get that game underway. TA leading up for us again. That's going to be a catcher hit card. And he's out. Lewis Robert up. He strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada is out. So up steps Kepler. Kepler walks against Keuchel. Polanco up. At least Keuchel's a negative six spots. Or hold. Donaldson is up. And Donaldson strikes out. So there's two down, and Cruz up at the plate, and he hits a two-run home run. All right.
So we're losing 2 nothing in game two after having wow. lost game one. Rosario is up, and he's going to fly out. And that gets them out of the inning, but they do score two runs to take a 2 nothing lead. Jimenez will lead off against Odorizzi. That's going to be a line out. Abreu is up. And he flies out. And that brings up Mazzara. Mazzara flies out. We go to the bottom of the second, down 2 nothing, and Garver up at the plate against uh, Keuchel, and he is going to line out third for the first out of the second. Arreyes is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Sano. Sano, who tore us up in game one of this series, strikes out. So no runs there, but they still maintain a 2 nothing lead, and Grandall is up to the plate. And that will be a line out. Polka up. Beer barrel Polka is hit by pitch. Nice. Garcia up, and he is going to hit a home run and tie the game. Nice. Lurie Garcia ties the game. And that brings up TA7, and he's going to hit the ball out of Reyes. And he's out. So Lewis Roberts up. And Lewis Robert hits a fly ball. But we get two runs of our own in the third and tie the game. And we go to the bottom of the third and Buxton leading off with a walk against Keichel. And there is a ground ball that moves Buxton to second with Polanco up at the plate, and he walks. So now the Twins have two on and only one out. And that is going to be a fly ball by Donaldson, amazingly. It was a double 1-17 to 17 fly ball, and there was an 18. But they do advance to Buxton to third, and that brings up Cruz, and then Cruz singles in the run. The go-ahead run. And Rosario is up. And Rosario singles in another run. So it really, I, know, I don't know if it mattered that they didn't get that home run. Garver's up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to first. That's a Abreu, and he might not make the play, but he does. Unfortunately, the Twins got two more runs, and so now they lead 4-2. to two. And that brings Moncada up to strike out. Jimenez is going to swing away, and he grounds out. And uh, that brings up Abreu. And Abreu is going to ground out. So we get nothing in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Aradis is up, and he strikes out. Sano is up, and Sano strikes out, and Buxton is up, and Buxton singles. That brings up Kepler, and we are going to throw for him for sure, and he's out, so we nailed him. We go to the top of the fifth, Mazzara up at the plate. And he singles. So we got to start that slow climb to get those two runs back. Grandall up. And Grandall lines out. So 
So with one down, we have Polka up with Mazzara at first, and he strikes out, just missing a walk. And Garcia is up. And Garcia hits a single. So we got two runners aboard. I'm going to hold the runners. Two runners aboard and TA up, and he flies out. So we get no runs in the fifth. And we're going to the bottom of the fifth with Kepler up at the plate. He hits a ground ball to first. He's out. Polanco's up. Polanco is going to hit a double, though. So the Twins will have a man at second with one away. And Donaldson up. And Donaldson is going to hit a single. And we're going to throw for the runner. And he was safe. So they now have another run. And Cruz is up. Cruz having a great game. Two for two with a home run, but he's going to fly out there. And Rosario is up at the plate, and he doubles. So now the question is, are they going to send Donaldson on that? And I am going to throw for the lead runner because we've got to stop these runs for from coming in. And we did cut him down there. So that was good. But the Twins still now, the Twins now have a 5-2 to two lead just like they did uh, relatively at this or at this same point in game one of the series. So uh, Lewis Robert up to lead off the sixth and he strikes out. Moncada's up and that's going to be a fly ball. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez strikes out. And we, we go down one, two, three in the sixth. Garver up and he's gonna ground out. Arreus is up and Arreus walks. So Keiko walks Arreus here in the sixth. So now up at the plate and he's gonna fly out. And that brings up Buxton. And Buxton is going to single. Kepler up. And Kepler is also going to single. And they might send Reyes. Got to throw for him again. And we can get him again, I think. Yes. So, top of the seventh. Abreu up. He is out. Mazar is up. Mazara hits a double. So we got a man at second with one out. Down by three. Grandal up at the plate and he walks. That brings up Polka. And Polka hits into a double play that ends the inning for us. Bottom of the seventh. Um, I'm going to bring in Herrera. And Polanco greets Herrera with a single in the bottom of the seventh to lead off the bottom of the seventh and Donaldson's up and we don't get him so he steals second Donaldson's up now and walks 
So Herrera allows the first two runners on, and that brings up Cruz. And Cruz is going to hit a three-run home run, pretty much put this game out of reach, which means it's going to be critical that we win the third game of the series. Yeah, Herrera's tired, but I'm going to make him get through this inning. There's one out, and Garver is up. And Garver is going to hit a single. Arreyes is up, and he's going to pop out to short. So that's two down the seventh. It's a no up the plate, and he strikes out. But the Twins strike for three there to take a commanding lead. Garcia leading off the uh, top of the eighth. He hits a ground ball to short, and he's out. Timmy Anderson's up, and he's going to get a single. Single up the middle for Anderson. He will try to steal. And he finally makes it and actually goes all the way to third. And Robert is up and he singles him in. I mean, I don't think we have a chance coming back, but at least that's a run. And there's another single for Moncada. Because we're down right now 8-3. So Jimenez is up and Jimenez hits a ground ball double play. But we got one. Buxton up against Herrera, and he lines out to second. Might as well keep Herrera out there now. I mean, he's got the first out. That's going to be a single because he's tired, but, you know, whatever. Polanco up. And Polanco hits a single. That brings up Donaldson. Donaldson is going to get a catcher's card X. And uh, that's mishandled by uh, Grandall, but there's a strikeout of Donaldson. And that brings up Cruz. And Cruz is going to hit a single. They may try to bring Polanco around, but they don't. And that brings up Rosario, who pops out. Well, we need a lot of runs right here. Abreu is up, and he strikes out. Mazar is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Grandal. And Grandal hits a single. Which brings up Beer Barrel Polka, and he walks. That's his second walk of the game, and that brings up Garcia to the plate, and he's going to hit a ground ball at the shortstop, Polanco. And that is it. Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Why are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. And we lose game two after losing game one as well. So there you go. We're now two and a half games behind the Twins. And we really, really need to win game three. Here and there, no matter how cruelly I beg you, do not open this door. And in game three, We will have Gilito going up against Pineda. And uh, I'm going to put McCann in Delmonico's spot, but we're going to put 
mechanic catcher and make Grandal the DH because this is a must win game. And I'm going to put Madrigal in at second. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be. All right. That's, let's see. That's where I'm going with that lineup. All right. And Gilito against Pineda. Must win game. We got Anderson. It's a day game. Love those day games. Fly ball to center, but that's Buxton's. It's probably going to make the play. And he does. And that brings up Madrigal. Madrigal with a single. So we got a man aboard. Lewis Robert up. And he strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada is going to get a single. So we got two men on, two down, and a Bray up. And Abreu hits a three-run jack. Maybe our fortunes are about to be reversed here. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez hits a double. So now we got a runner at second. We're up 3 nothing, and there's two outs. And Mazzara. And Mazzara is going to hit a two-run home run, and we're up 5 nothing. Gotta love that. I mean, you got to because we really needed this game. And now Pineda's already tired, which is awesome. And Grandall is up. And Grandall is out, but we got five runs. That should be enough for Giolito, but we'll see. Kepler is up against him and he walks. Leadoff walk Kepler. Polanco up, and he hits a fly ball to the left, and that's Jimenez, who's a four, but he might make the play. And he does. So there's one down, but the runner advanced, so now Kepler's on second with Donaldson, and Donaldson walks. Cruz is up, and Cruz is going to fly out, thankfully. That, if that was a home run... They would have been right back in this. And that brings up Mitch Garver. And Mitch Garver strikes out. So thankfully, no runs for the Twins there. And McCann will lead off for us in the top of the second. So we're in the top of the fourth. We're leading 5 nothing, And Grandall is up. And Grandall is going to single. That's sweet. McCann up at the plate, and McCann is going to single as well. So now we've got the first two runners on, kind of like a couple of innings ago where we didn't score. And Anderson's up, and Anderson is going to line. And it's going to ground ball deep. And I'm going to try to steal second with Anderson. I'm still going to try it at 50%, and it works. So now we've got runners at second and third with one out and Madrigal out. And Madrigal walks to load the bases. So this is really exactly like uh, last inning or two innings ago where we uh, had the chance to score with the bases loaded and didn't. And Lewis Robert is up. They're going to take out Chassin, though, and they're going to bring in Littell. And he gets a single and drives a run. And now we're up 6 nothing. That brings up Moncada. And Moncada strikes out for the second out. And now Abreu is up. And he is going to hit a single and drive in another run. So now we have a 7 nothing. And that brings up Jimenez. 
And Jimenez is going to strike out. But we did get two runs. And we have a 7 nothing lead. And I am going to go and put in defensive replacements. Engel is going to come in. And um, I'm going to bring him in for Jimenez in left field. So Cruz is up. And Cruz doubles. Leading off the Twins fourth. And Garver is up. Garver strikes out. Rosario is up. Rosario hits a home run. So they've got a two-run home run from Rosario, which now cuts the lead to 7-5, to five, or 7-2. Um, to two. Yeah. 7-2, to two, so we have a five-run lead. And Sano is up, and he walks. And Arias is up. Arias singles. So now they're all of a sudden, they're just taking Giolito apart. But he strikes out Buxton, so there's two down. Two runners on, and Kepler up. Kepler hits uh, ground... Uh, uh, catcher's card X and McCann makes the play, but the Twins get two runs and cut into our 7 nothing lead, and now it is 7-2. So, we've got Mazzaro leading off, and he is going to single. That brings up Grandall, and Grandall is going to hit a two-run home run, and we have the seven-run lead back. That brings up McCann. He's going to swing away. He strikes out. Tim Anderson's up. And Tim Anderson strikes out. 0 for 3 today. And that brings up Madrigal. And Madrigal strikes out. But we do get two runs. And now we have maintained the 7 nothing, uh, seven run lead. As we lead 9-2. to two. And Polanco up at the plate with a single. Donaldson up. He hits a ground ball to second base. And that brings up Cruz. And Cruz is going to fly out, thankfully. So, uh, Garber is up at the plate with two down. And he hits a ground ball at second. That's Madrigal now. And that's an out. Top of the seventh inning. Angle is up for his first at bat since coming in as a defensive replacement. Hits the ball at Reyes. And he's out. Mazzara's up. Mazzara flies out. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall rips a double. Nice little rip there. I'm going to say no, do not try to advance. And McCann is up, and there's going to be a wild pitch that's going to put Grandall on third with two down and McCann up. And McCann is going to hit a double and knock in Grandall. So now our lead is extended to, I believe, 10 runs. No, eight runs. We have an eight run lead now. And uh, Tim Anderson up, and he is going to hit a single. I would not send McCann anyway, even if I have the option to. And Madrigal is up. And Madrigal hits a single and knocks in a run. And now we have a nine-run lead. Now we are just kicking their asses. Um, I am going to hold the runners. And that brings up Lewis Robert. And Lewis Robert walks. Well, where were all these base runners and runs when we needed him back in the other two? Games? Sam Dyson is tired. There's two down and Moncada up. 
and now he'll be batting against Trevor May, and there's a ground ball or a catcher's card to X. And we're out of the inning with that, but we do get two more runs. So Kepler against Giolito. He strikes out. Polanco up. Polanco's out. Line out to second. And that brings up Donaldson. Well, this is good. This will cut the uh, deficit back to one and a half games. And uh, so let's see. Abreu is up leading off the top of the eighth. And he swings away and strikes out. Angle is up. And Angle strikes out. And that brings up Mazzara, who will swing away and hits a fly ball. So we get no runs in the eighth. And bottom of the eighth, he cruises up. And Cruz strikes out, or will strike out. That brings up Mitch Garver, and Garver is going to be out. He'll line out, and up steps Rosario. And Rosario hits a ground ball to Abreu. And that's that. Top of the ninth. Grand doll up. Giolito's tired, but I don't know if I'll send him out. I might still send him back out there. Grand doll ripping a double. McCann up, and he's three for four. He's had a great day. But he grounds out. Tim Anderson up at the plate. And Tim Anderson's ripping a double and tying and bringing in another run. So we really are taking it to the Twins in game three. Madrigal up, and Madrigal's out. And that brings up Lewis Roberts. And Lewis Roberts strikes out, but we do get a run. We have a commanding lead, so I think I'm going to leave Giolito out there. And that's going to be a fly ball for Sunel. Arreyes is up. And Arreyes hits a ground ball. And that's two down. And that brings up Buxton. And Buxton hits a double, so they're not going uh, not going easily here. Kepler up, and Kepler lines out into it. Well, it was not a double play, but it's the end of the game anyway. And uh, a valiant effort there by Giolito. He goes the entire game, gives up seven hits and walks four, but he only gives up two runs. And we do win the uh, third game, twelve to two in convincing fashion, but we went from a half game behind the Twins to one and a half games behind the Twins by losing two out of three to that. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.